So I have a question from one of my viewers. He wants to know how he can ease his tendon and joint pain. Uh, now, joint pain can be caused by a variety of things. A lot of the time, um, it's biomechanical. Uh, and sometimes it can actually be due to inflammation in the body. Uh, inflammation in the body can be caused by diet. And I'm just going to go through two things that you can do with your diet which can help ease that pain. The first of those is um, your ratio of omega-3s to omega-6s. Now, ideally you want uh, a 2 to 1 ratio of 3s to 6s. However, in the average American diet, um, it's probably pretty similar to the British one, uh, it's uh, 10 to 1 the other way around, so far too many omega-6s like you know, you'll get omega-6s in abundance, even in, uh, in, um, why have I stopped? In a bodybuilder's diet. In a bodybuilder's diet, um, your oats, your chicken, your red meat, pretty much every type of fat that you normally would typically take in is an omega-6. So what you want to do is counter at that as much as possible with omega-3s. First thing you want to do is take a good omega-3 fish oil supplement. Um, it's very important that you take a fish sauce because that's the one which has the most DHA and EPA um, in. And <clears throat> you want to replace your unhealthy fats or... Uh, should I say your, your omega-6 fats really with things like um, nuts, any nuts apart from peanuts which are actually an omega-6 so you know walnuts, macadamia nuts, almonds etc you want to be taking avocados um, various oils like extra virgin olive oil um, salmon other types of fish they're really good in omega-3s make sure that if you, if you want to be you want your diet to be really high in omega-3s, get the fish which is um, caught properly, not just kind of farmed and, and fed unnaturally, you want it to be fed naturally. Again, um, omega-3s are found in meat which feeds on grass. You know, if you eat grass-fed beef, that is higher in omega-3s than uh, corn-fed beef or grain-fed beef. Same goes with chicken. Or uh, turkey. I'm led to believe that turkey is actually um, grass fed. I'm not 100% certain on that one, but apparently so. <clears throat> now, the other thing you can do is uh, you can cut gluten out. Gluten is an inflammatory, inflammatory protein which obviously causes inflammation in the diet. Gluten is abundant in foods like um, bread. You know, it can be in oats through cross-contamination, uh, a lot of pastries, things like that. So, it's hard, but try and eliminate gluten. So, I mean, foods that you can eat which are gluten-free, obviously you can still eat fruit, you can still eat all your protein sources, um, providing that your protein drink, if you take one, is gluten-free. Um... You can buy gluten-free oats. You can uh, rice is another good one. If it, if it hasn't been cross-contaminated with gluten, if it hasn't been in the same uh, truck when it's been, you know, being transported as other gluten-containing foods, then it should be fine. Just have a look on the side of the packet, and it should say gluten-free. <coughs> then you'll be okay. I mean, there are two things which. Uh, can definitely help you to get rid of the inflammation and hence the pain in your joints. I actually did a, a gluten-free diet for a few weeks and it wasn't for this reason but I'm pretty sure, although I wasn't looking for it, I noticed that my knees were a lot better without having the oats in my diet and replacing them for rice flakes. So there you go, uh, just a couple of things that you can do without, you know, without looking at your body as such. Uh, more looking at the foods that you put into your body, which might actually help to ease your pain a little bit. Hope that helps.